As many are preparing to celebrate a Thanksgiving unlike any other, some Virginians received rough news this week. The Virginia Employment Commission announced that extended unemployment benefits end Saturday. I had roughly six, six weeks left uh, with the benefits. Would have paid for bills, would have carried me into the new year. Spokesperson for the VEC, Joyce Fogg, says the federal rule states that 5% of the state's labor force has to be on unemployment for a little over three months to qualify for extended benefits. And Virginia did not hit that, leaving Mike Jones in the lurch. He lost his job as a restaurant general manager when the pandemic hit and recently has been serving as a pro bono restaurant consultant as he looks for work. I needed that money to help make it through that period there. Now you have to sit and wonder how do you survive the conversations I'm about to have with uh, the landlord, uh, the conversations I'm having already with Pepco. Fogg says Jones is one of about 20,000 Virginians losing out on these benefits, which are entirely federally funded. But to Fogg, the extension ending is good news, showing that not as many Virginians are on unemployment. Jones, however, says that's because they've exhausted all their options and are now hung out to dry. We have fallen by the way wayside in terms of what our national leaders are doing to help us stay afloat. Senator Mark Warner sent us a statement that reads in part, it's frankly an embarrassment that the Senate adjourned before passing additional COVID-19 relief as thousands of Virginians see their unemployment assistance expire ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Jones is calling on leaders like Senator Warner to step up and do more to help them survive. Joyce Fogg recommends Virginians check out the 550,000 job postings on the VEC website. Now, D.C. and Maryland are still above that federal threshold and will continue to receive those extended benefits. But all unemployment benefits provided under the CARES Act as of now will run out at the end of December. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.